Hello everyone and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today I have made a quadruple piston extender. Uh, it's actually not my first quadruple piston extender. Um, and it's not either my first too wide. Um, I had one that worked perfectly. Um, but yeah, it's broken in 1.8. Um, and I think it has some directional issues. But now I have come up with a whole new design. It's actually one block shorter. Um, but it is really quick as you can see here the extending is as quick as it can be and yeah there's some bugs in 1.8 this block is actually here um, you could just not see it for some reason uh, it's just 1.8 I'm actually in the snapshots right now to test it um, but as you can see it works perfectly fine and it is really really quick um, and as I said it's one block shorter than the old design so let's take a look at the resources needed it's not that many different resources but there is a lot of repeaters um, and some sticky pistons. So it is quite expensive when you look at the uh, repeaters right here. But anyway, let's go right over here and start the tutorial. So right here, you need to put all your sticky pistons, one, two, three, three, four, and then put the block you want to extend. I'll just use an iron block for, you know, like it stands out so you can clearly see what block it is. Um, then you Put out this torch tower with three blocks on each and then put your torches like this and don't put one on the last block here and again the block is gone um this is actually here but you can't really see it um but then you continue down here on the lower level it's going to be a bit hard to do this tutorial uh, but i have planned it a bit out so that it will be easier for us to do um so i've like plant it in all the layers and we will do it one at a time so you build all of this here so one block apart and the last block here is just moved over one so and this one here is a sticky piston so you just put a repeater in one tick two ticks two ticks one tick and then four ticks uh, two ticks and three ticks so that layer is now done and should be working working perfectly. And uh, now let's take the second layer, which has a one tick delay repeater, a dust, two two tick that I mean three two tick delay repeaters, and redstone dust right here. So then we can take the redstone signal further up here, put redstone dust at the side, and put up like so. So I have a repeater going into that block with a redstone torch right here. And now there is still space for the piston to extend, as you can see here. And yeah, the last thing you need to do on this layer is, I mean, the almost last thing you have to do is put a four tick delay repeater right here and put two blocks on like this and with the repeater and a lever turned on, on this block. So now on to the third and final layer, put a two tick delay repeater, a dust and a redstone torch right here. And then we can continue the redstone tower up and then we can put a repeater going into here on two ticks and redstone dust. You need to have a three tick delay repeater, dust right here. And then we need to have two blocks up with dust and then we need to do one of these here. And then we will have two four tick delay repeaters. And right here we need to have a sticky piston going down with a block right here. And I think we should be done. Yeah, we are actually done. So let's take a look at it extracting. Looks really good. And it is working perfectly. <laughs> this is actually only my second try uh, on recording this tutorial. I thought it would be worse um, and harder to do because it's such a big build with so many repeater takes that I have to remember. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and check out all of my other videos if you have the time. And I will see all of you guys next time.